What's going on? And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about something that is very, very high at the question list when it comes to cybersecurity. And I think it's gonna be very educational for those that are trying to get into the field. Welcome back everybody, I'm Cyber Tom, and my channel is all about IT education. So a big question I always get, and when I mean always, I mean maybe one out of seven times that I get a question. It's usually something around this topic. So I thought I'd make a video and answer the question that you all have been asking. Can you work remote in cybersecurity? So now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and just tell you a straight answer because it's not a straight answer and that's just the reality of the fact. I don't wanna lead you in the wrong direction. I've never wanted to. So I just wanna give you a straightforward answer and that is yes and no, it depends. So what we're gonna do in the video is just go through some of the different scenarios and explain kind of what remote means in today's day and age. Um, how often are they telling you to come into the office if you're not remote and everything surrounding the remote hybrid on site topic. So you're looking through Indeed, you're looking through LinkedIn and you're curious. You look down on a job description and you see that it says remote. What does that mean exactly? You could be either remote and you could be anywhere in the world or you can be remote but you have to be within a certain area say a few states or such so it's important to understand that there's a difference that remote doesn't mean you can just work wherever you want sometimes you have to adhere to certain policies and they would like you to be close to the office in case of emergencies you're working in it there's going to be emergencies every now and then so a lot of companies like that. So that's the first thing to understand. Is it remote, you can work globally, or is it remote, you have to stay near the office, but you don't have to go in the office unless of emergencies. So if you are in the interview process and you do wanna get specifics, just simply say, is this a work from home position or is this a work remote position? Because those are two different things as well. If you're working from home, that means that they expect you to be home at all times for whatever reasons that they have, where if you're working remote, maybe they don't care if you're on a beach as long as you're getting your work done. So you should clarify that when you are looking for these positions. So you may ask, so Tom, what are you seeing out in the job field? And I'm gonna explain that to you a little bit um, in a brief detail. Right now, for the most part, I'm seeing a 50-50 split between remote positions and hybrid positions. Now, there's a distinction. You may get a job description that says remote, but they want you in the office once or twice a month. That's really a hybrid role. Uh, so if you see something like that, it's gonna be hybrid. Remote something where you don't have to go into the office ever. Uh, if you are looking for that, then you need to make sure that that's verbalized when you are in your interview process because there's distinction. Uh, hybrid also can also mean two to three days a week or hybrid can mean once or twice a month. So that needs to be clarified as well because hybrid is a pretty generic term. So it needs to be understood. Is this going to be a couple days a week or a couple days a month? What I'm seeing out there right now, especially for you beginners, you're probably looking around two days or three days in the office and two or three days at home every week to start. And listen, if I'm being frank with you, there are millions of jobs out there that these workers will never see a day remote. So be grateful for the field that you're in and that we're able to do this because um, it is a good work-life balance that is not offered to a lot of other uh, industries. So be grateful for that. If you can get your foot in the door at two to three days home a week, take it. Don't always look for just the remote. So when would I say not to take it and start to really uh, dive deep into what you want into a position? I'd say this after you have 
gotten into your first role, you got your feet wet, you have a few years of experience, and now the tables really turn to you. Uh, I think at that position, then absolutely, if you want to work remote, wait for the right job to come by that's fully remote, or maybe it's a hybrid um, that isn't every week or something like that. I think you're then in a position to ask for what you want with the experience under your belt. Just don't come into the field expecting and demanding that you're remote. You can obviously let them know how you feel and, and let them know what you would prefer, because maybe as times change, you'll be able to maneuver into a remote position with the company, but don't ever turn down a job, especially when you're brand new to IT because it's not remote. It's not smart at all, unless you're living in the middle of a, a valley, you know, out somewhere where you're hundreds of miles away from, you know, civilian life. Uh, most of us aren't. That being said, take the opportunities given to you. Do not waste them um, trying to find the perfect remote job. It will come with the experience. Now, another question that I've been getting as well, and it really goes to show how much people really do want to become a part of this field of cybersecurity and specifics, because I'll get questions like, hey, Tom, if I work remote, how am I going to be secure? And that's a great question because a lot of people are working remote these days. And what you're going to want to make sure and to ensure is that one, if you can segregate your network from the company's network, that's a great alternative. This way it keeps their information safe. It keeps your information safe if one or the other were to be breached. So you want to keep them on different networks. Uh, you want to keep them away from each other in any way that you can. And that's the first way. The second way is definitely going to be through a form of some kind of secure VPN where there is an encrypted tunnel from the remote location into the site. And that's what you're going to want to ensure as well. This way, it doesn't hold you accountable for liabilities of data in transit. And at rest is going to be encrypted through the IPsec tunnel. So that's going to ensure another layer of security. It's a great question that I've received a bunch of times, and I felt that this was a good opportunity to answer that. So that's going to be my answer to that question. I hope it's helped any of you that have asked me that question within the past couple months. Lastly, if you're following any type of recruiters or um, you know career coaches or anything like that online or on social media, and they spit out to you that you know remote work is on the decline or it's on the incline or any anything like that, be reminded that this is in regards when they speak to all of the industries known where we cannot look at it from that purview because we are an industry that is highly remote focused, um, especially when you have a few years of experience. Uh, so don't get down when you hear any of that talk. Um, understand that they're talking about all the industries. Guys, I really hope that this video has helped you understand exactly what remote means in this industry and the different things that are out there. And it'll better enhance your vision as you move forward and look for the job that's right for you. And that's what this channel is all about, helping you guys get into IT. So thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video. See you guys.